And so this community group talks about the entrepreneur. Everything is confidential and everybody has to sign a confidentiality agreement. And through these 40 people who are listening to Jason Snyder talk about his clients, we were able to connect them with resources throughout the community to help them develop their um, idea into a profitable business. So that's what Accelerate UP is all about. Um, the management team is a nine-member management team from the communities of, of Barraga and Marquette, and two folks from Rio Tinto sit on that management team, myself and Simon Mish. So again, in the last um, six months, uh, we've had 17 clients and we've had 280 contacts. The other two things that we have up here in Leave More Wood on the Wood Pile are infrastructure. Um, we have contributed to 12 miles of new and or improved roads and 30 miles of new power lines. We also talked about land set-asides. Rio Tinto has um, several acres of land that is purchased or acquired through the mining process that is no longer being used um, for mining interests. And so what we'd really like to do is work with the community and look at how we can set that land aside in the areas of biodiversity, recreation, and culture. Um, we haven't been able to develop that very far yet, but it is something that we are working on. Um, and we will involve the community when we start looking at where we own land and what that land may be used for. So we don't have anything new to report there. Um, really, the, the one that has changed is growing and existing businesses. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. Are you only looking at land that you own, or are you, own, are you looking at buying land and having it set aside for these purposes? Right now, we're only looking at land that we own. Uh, another question, which I would look at in terms of leaving wood on the in, uh, wood pile in terms of roads and power lines as really a two-sided um, two sides of the coin because you may help uh, in the initial cost of um, putting those in but once you leave that's an economic drain on the community so if I look at that as almost a wash potentially yeah. yeah, you make a good point, because uh, the point that was made, well, if there's a brand new road that didn't exist before, and, and the company pays for that road, then in the long run, when we're gone, the community is left with the maintenance of that road from their own taxpayer expense. Um, that's a good point. These, it's a little misleading, we say new and improved roads, well, I think we're going to change that and say new and new or improved roads. So we haven't built any new roads, so we certainly have improved existing roads which then is a true benefit to the community because we're paying for the improvement of the road, which means it needs less maintenance from taxpayer dollars. Um, the power line, uh, we built a 30 mile long power line, cost us $6 million to do that. Uh, that power line replaced an existing power line uh, that was built in the 1950s and was in disrepair. So instead of the users of that power, consumers of that power paying for the new power line, the company did, which has saved a lot of money in maintenance. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll do so over the next 40 years. Any other questions in this area? Yeah. Do you have a haul road to get the ore out of the line to the mill? Yep, we will be using existing roads. Now really, uh, the reality though, we're talking about wood on the wood pile, Wood is a renewable resource, just like farming. Uh, crops is a renewable resource, but mining, you're going to remove these minerals from this country and sell them internationally. So you're not really leaving any wood on the wood pile. You're, you're draining something more important than the wood pile because it's never going to be coming back. 